Hey UTA, welcome to the Shoreline After Dark, and uh, here's your top story for February 9th, 2010. Students should soon know whether proposed 3.95% increase in tuition will go into effect for the next two school years. The increase was proposed by the Tuition Review Committee chaired by Student Congress President Kent Long. Um, tuition goes up every year. It's a fact of higher education um, with an increase of student enrollment and the uh, increasing costs of you know, facilitating the needs of those students. Um, tuition's got to go up every year. Um, it's one of the sad realities of being in higher education, but at the same time, um, we have fought very hard uh, with the Tuition Review Committee to ensure that that number stays low. When we look at other systems like California who had a um, 32% increase, um, we're really trying to stay away from that. Long says a tuition hike is in accordance with a Texas legislative recommendation. Uh, the Texas legislature made a recommendation this year um, to cap tuition increases at 3.95%, um, and we've done our best to comply with that. Long says costs are being cut throughout the university in conjunction with the increase, and says the students will be relatively happy with what they will pay next year should the UT System Board of Regents approve the proposal in March. As far as I'm concerned with the increase in tuition, I mean, um, I'm not really sure where the money's going to or what it's going to be used for and, uh, specifically. I I'm, figure I'm it's probably operating costs to deal with the university. I mean, I know that they've been expanding in various directions. I know that we've got new buildings that they're building. I mean, the only things I've actually seen that they're adding is a freshman center. That in the engineering building, it really it just looks like it's going to further their main majors, you know? They're not really using it towards any other thing else. Even if it was going to be split across, you know, everything else that's being done, you know, music and the sports and all that, then I can see it. But really all I see it going towards is engineering and freshmen. I'm Alana Quillen with a Shorthorn After Dark. An ice cream party will be held in the atrium of the Chemistry and Physics Building Wednesday in honor of political science professor Alan Sachs. The party is being held in celebration of Sachs' birthday and to recognize an endowment he provided the planetarium, which with matching funds currently totals $100,000 and will be increased to $200,000 over the next two years. To honor this gift, the circle and section of lawn enclosed within it in front of the planetarium will be renamed the Allen Sachs Garden. The first 1,000 students to arrive will receive free ice cream from UTA faculty. The women's basketball team defeated the Northwestern State Demons on Saturday night 86 to 82. The Mavericks held their opponents to 28% from the three-point land, despite the Demons being the leading three-point scorers in the conference. The win evened out the Mavs' conference record to 4-4. Four four. They will try to win back-to-back -back games on Wednesday for the first time all year against McNeese State in Texas Hall. Student organizations on campus are donating their time to inform the community about what they can do to help Haitians after a 7.0 magnitude earthquake shook the small country nearly a month ago. The Wesley Foundation is among many groups on campus raising awareness of the Haiti disaster. Elliot Schmidt took donations and asked people to join him in helping make health kits with the money collected. I'm doing this because I was in Haiti last March and just being there only for a week. I just The people there are so beautiful, I can't help but care for them. And when I heard about the earthquake, I wanted to do something and uh, get the campus involved. I thought this was a good idea. We're working on these stories and more. Pick up a copy of the Shorehorn on the racks across campus tomorrow or log on to the Shorehorn.com for extras. I'm Vinod Srinivasan for the Shorehorn After Dark.